Without a doubt, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shocked everyone with their sudden announcement that they want to step back from their duty and have their own life. Is it even possible for a member of the royal family to marry an American, move over there, and just live their own life? Of course it is, and Harry and Meghan have an example in the Swedish princess who made the same decision as the British royal couple. Who is the princess who stepped away from the Swedish royal family? What does her life look like now? Why did the king take away her children's titles? Keep watching to find out how Princess Madeline made her exit from the royal family and the Swedish monarchy was fine. But before we start, Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our Curious Sips channel to stay up to date with our videos. When Harry and Meghan posted their statement announcing that they want to step down as senior royals, want to be financially independent, and will try to balance their time between two continents, I immediately thought that this was going to be interesting. Especially that apparently they didn't even talk about their plans with the Queen. But now we know that the British royal family had a meeting and they discussed the Sussex's family future and have decided on everything. Of course, they support Harry and Meghan's decision, but they would prefer them to remain full-time working members of the monarchy. But with the new arrangements, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will no longer be formally representing the Queen. So after the very sudden announcement, some royal fans were a bit concerned with what will happen to the British monarchy. Some people are angry and said that Meghan and Harry are ruining it. Some said that this decision may be the beginning of an end. But let's be real, how could a decision of a prince who will never be on the throne affect the whole system? And by the way, there are monarchies that have been here before and they're doing absolutely fine. Just like the royal family in Sweden and its princess Madeline who a few years ago made a similar decision to Harry and Meghan's. She now lives in Florida and her story can be an example of how things may turn out for the Sussexes. I could tell you the whole story of Princess Madeline is quite romantic because she decided to leave the royal family for a man. But first, who is she? Princess Madeline of Sweden is the second daughter and the youngest child of King Carl the 16th, Gustav and Queen Sylvia. Currently, she is the seventh in line of succession to the throne. If you think that marrying a very chill actress is shocking, listen to this. Madeline's sister and the heir to the Swedish throne, Crown Princess Victoria, married a personal trainer and a gym owner. And her brother, Prince Carl Philip, is married to a model and a reality TV contestant who apparently had to remove her tattoos in order to join the royal family. Just like Prince Harry, Madeline first tried to look for love at home, but it didn't work out. The then 27-year-old Madeline had been engaged to the 31-year-old Jonas Bergstrom. The lawyer popped the question in 2009 on holiday in Capri after seven years of dating. But something's not meant to be, and it won't work out. The couple had already postponed their wedding once because they claimed too much was going on, for instance, Madeline's sister's wedding. But in April of 2010, Madeline ended the engagement following a report that her fiancé cheated on her with a 21-year-old university student while on a ski trip. After the breakup, the princess decided that she wanted to change her surroundings so she moved to New York to work for the World Child Foundation which was co-founded by her mother, Queen Sylvia. She settled in Manhattan and while living in the US, she fell in love with Christopher O'Neill, a British-born American financer. They come from different societies but their love has been very strong for years. The couple met through mutual friends and in the beginning for Madeline, it was just friendship. They had a lot in common, shared the same sense of humor and loved spending time together. For Christopher, it was something more than just friendship and he immediately knew that the princess was his soulmate. In November of 2011, the couple moved in together and lived in Manhattan. Madeline and Christopher got engaged in 2012 after he received permission from the king. And here's a fun fact, after the king's permission, the marriage had to be agreed with the Swedish government according to the procedures of the Swedish constitution. Their wedding took place on June 8th of 2013 at the royal palace, but Christopher didn't become a prince. It's because he decided not to obtain Swedish citizenship and that is a requirement for a royal title. It seems that he knew what he was doing and that the decision not to officially join the royal family was intentional because O'Neill wanted to be able to continue his own career and the constant demands of royal duty would have gotten in the way just like it happened in 2015 when he missed the king's 69th birthday and of course the press was after him. Christopher told a Swedish newspaper that he has to look after his family and put food on the table and his job doesn't allow him to decide if he can attend an engagement one month before it happens. He has his own business that he worked very hard for and sometimes a meeting with
with client conflicts with royal engagements, and his clients don't know who he is, so they can't always plan in advance. After the wedding, the couple still lived abroad, moving between the US, Sweden, and the UK. In the meantime, they had three children, Princess Leonor, who was born in New York in 2014, Prince Nicholas, born in 2015, and Princess Adrian, who was born in 2018. In the fall of 2015, a few months after the birth of Prince Nicholas, it was announced that the family moved to London, where Christopher's business was located. As he said, he didn't want to be alone in his hotel room every night, and he wanted to go home to his family and have dinner together. But in August of 2018, a few months after their youngest child was born, the princess and her family moved to Florida. Princess Madeline's family has lived outside of Sweden for several years, so what are her royal duties? She comes back home for important royal events and undertakes various engagements on behalf of her father. She also takes part in celebrations of the National Day of Sweden, the Nobel Prize ceremony, and in dinners and state visits with other members of the royal family. Madeline is also involved in charity work and she mainly focuses on organizations that support children who are victims of abuse. Currently, Madeline lives in the US, but she often visits Sweden and gives interviews. She also regularly posts on social media and shares sweet photos on her Instagram of her everyday life, work, and family. Her Instagram is way more personal than that of any other members of the British royal family. It even features holiday pictures and private family photos with adorable captions. In October of 2019, the Swedish royal family made a few changes and they included Princess Madeline's children. The changes are actually similar to what Prince Charles wants for the British monarchy. So all five grandchildren of King Carl and Queen Sylvia are no longer official members of the royal house, and that simply means that they lost their his, her, royal highness titles. This means that they won't be performing any royal duties and won't get any taxpayer money. Their personal titles will be prince and princess, but their future spouses won't be able to use them. Princess Madeline was completely on board with this decision. She agreed to choose this path so her children will have more autonomy in what to do with their life. On her Instagram, she wrote that she and her husband thought that it's good that their children will have the opportunity to shape their own lives as individuals in the future. In the case of Harry and Meghan, their son Archie also doesn't have a royal title and is styled as Master Archie Mountbatten Windsor because his parents wish that he grow up as a private citizen. Is it a sign of another change in the British monarchy? And how is it with the money? The royal family in Sweden gets over $15 million from taxpayers and the king decides how to split it within the family. Princess Madeline's house in Florida isn't paid for by public money because her banker husband funds all of that, but she gets compensated for showing up on Sweden's national day in traditional dress. Do you think that's fair? So if Princess Madeline can do it, why can't Prince Harry do the same? They both have older siblings with children who have way more important roles in the monarchy than they do. In the end, and Prince William and Kate can give the royal fans all the drama they want. And let's not forget that soon their kids will start growing up and who knows what trouble they will cause. What do you think? Do you believe that Harry and Meghan will be able to organize their life like Princess Madeline did? Do you think it's a good thing that Princess Madeline followed her husband? Let's talk about it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with Curious Sips. And also, please leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. See ya!